Hey, this is Ryan Jones from Serverless Guru. In the past couple videos, we've covered how to create things manually in the console. Things like Lambda, API Gateway, CloudWatch logging, all four functionality around create user, delete user, update user, and get user. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take all that knowledge that we just learned and we're going to apply it to the serverless framework. So if we scroll down, I've got this kind of template here for the course. We are now inside the deep dive into serverless framework. So I'll kind of give an idea of what this section is going to cover and then the next video will start. So first off, the serverless details. What is the serverless framework? Why do people use it? And also talking about the different things about how CloudFormation and serverless framework work together. Then we'll move into installing serverless onto our local computers, getting things like uh, the serverless CI CLI set up, the AWS CLI set up, and then we'll also look at creating profiles so you can attach that to your AWS account. That'll keep everything uh, secure and isolated. And then we'll move into serverless implementation. So we're going to create a new serverless project using a template, and then we'll show how to add our Lambda functions in, get everything up and running. Uh, we'll show how to tear it down with the serverless framework. And then also we'll look at some serverless plugins, if it makes sense, to make our application more robust. And then finally, we're going to look at a review of what everything covered in that section uh, before finally moving on to building out the entire REST API with serverless. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.